So, new day, new story here at the Furniture Messiah channel. Today's story is going to be about some custom studio tables that are made out of, um, fuck. <laughs> It's going so quick. Oh my god, I'm starting. Here's a fun sequence. I have no idea what I'm listening to this day, but I was really into whatever it was. Probably Nicki Minaj, but you never know. There's some sis in there. And some her. But judging by the hand motions, I'm thinking it's Nicki Minaj for sure. Yeah, the facial expressions. Oh, I'm talking to nobody. Oh my god. Yep. I feel it in my spirit. makes life more interesting, you know? You don't want people to know what they're gonna get. What's my face gonna look like? Am I gonna look like a fucking crazy person? Or totally normal? TBD? Oh my god. I'm not yelling about something. Blah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh my god, I Even if that flew me and my bitches all the way out to Dubai. Pussy, you try. You lie. Pussy, yeah. you lie. Bitch, I'm me. Hunted on the wrist, I ski. I on the wall, I ski. Fuck who see. Look, you fake dope devil, no real. A hammer and some nails is a good way to start like a hole for if you're gonna drill something. It just, you know, cause you make that hole with the, the nail, the tip of the nail. It makes an indention that allows the tip of the drill to just sit right in the hole. And so it's accurate every time. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
This pretty little piece of equipment allows you to cut curves if you want to. And as long as you keep it like flat to the tabletop, you don't have to worry about the blade being crooked, you know, it'll be parallel if it's flat with the tabletop. Okay, flat. Not tilted. But there are like some of those jigs where you can tilt them at 45 degrees and make like angled cuts, which is pretty cool because you can make hella boxes of fast. But that's not what we did here. Oh, for this one, I pre drilled the corners. That way I would have somewhere to stop to. Stop to. Stop at. Stop. It's just easier. I mean, it's not as clean. You could do a smaller drill hole. I just want larger because I thought it would look cool. I just sand it down. A couple mini holes. You're not gonna lose anything down there, right? 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 As long as a pencil can't fit through it, it's not a hole, right? Is it? Is it? If a pencil can't? Is it a hole? If a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Anyway, personal interpretation. But it cuts like butter, honestly. Cuts like butter. I felt like I was in the kitchen, you know, just making those cookies that take four sticks of butter. <laughs> I think it's like two sticks of butter. It's still two sticks of butter. It's a lot of butter. <sighs> With this academy. <laughs> All this butter. Anywho, the jigsaw. I forgot what I was going to say about it. Hmm. I went with a classic puzzle piece head shape because I love puzzles and this is a custom piece of furniture, so whatever I say goes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's not for anybody is what I mean. Uh, except for that one that I etched a waterfall on. I'm probably going to have to keep working on that one. It really didn't turn out how I wanted it to at this moment. TBD. We'll see what the website has. Which photo of it? Maybe it'll Maybe I won't put it on there. And it'll only be on here forever. Isn't it beautiful? Such a cool shape. Let's try to sand it. But why not dance in sand? Because sanding sucks. It is the worst thing. It also makes your form super tight. If you're like gripping too hard. Which, you know, when you get tired and it's hot, sometimes that happens. Just get lazy. Ugh, gotta work on it, gotta work on it. I like how I twirl that board though. Twirl it again. Twirl it around. Twirl that board for me. 
Mm. God damn, I got a lot of energy when I'm standing. I'm just like bouncing around like a crazy person. Bippity mm. boppity mm. boop. Yeah, touch the wood. Make sure it feels nice. Feels nice to touch. Feels nice to touch, then it's good. Sand. If you touch it and you don't like the way it feels, keep going. And that's what I always say. Keep going. If you don't like how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> Those holes were kind of like, you know, the transition between hole to tabletop, kind of weird. It needed to be smoothed out. The coolest thing to do is to have like a metal insert into the hole that like blocks it up. If I had a welder, I would have done that. But I don't have a welder right now, so next time I'll try that. So for now, just dremel, smooth out the circles. Not too deep that it's like a really noticeable hole. So I like to smooth them out, you know, just feather that edge. Like Goodman's hair. Right? Wasn't his name Goodman? The feathery hair. Dodgeball. That's right, this is where I try the waterfall. It actually looks pretty good on the like after the sandy. It looks very promising. But I've stained it twice now. And I've done another round of like etching. It's getting there. It needs I think it needs another round. I actually have an etching tool now so I can be a smart person and actually use a tool that will give me the desired effect. So if this turns out like shit you won't see the final result. Because <laughs> I'm gonna hide it. <laughs> Creative, whatever the fuck. Uh, there's a chicken in the background. It's like 2 in the morning and watching myself stain is really fucking boring. My hair looks cool though. It's like blonde. Yeah. Thanks, son. Wow. The power of the sun dyeing my hair. Dun, dun, dun. I should have like a spear in my hand. Just like toss it over my hand. Got a chicken. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> Never. Staining is fun. Something about brushing on like just a liquid that just changes the wood's color. Gives it like a whole new story. And then you just wipe it down. Like it's a wet dog. Needs drying. It's beautiful. It's so pretty when it's stained. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Oh my 
Oh, you guys. Oh. I just realized I was mindlessly watching the videos and not even commentating on anything. <laughs> I'm screaming the legs. The legs, that's a redesign. Initially I wanted to do like a L. Well, I wanted to do just a single like a sliding foot with carpet on the bottom. But then attaching it became a pain in the ass for the piece that I wanted to use. And then one of them broke in half. So I want these legs. I found at a yard sale on some ugly ass shelves. Like they were really fucking ugly. But the legs were really cool. I paid way too much money for these shelves. But way too much money was $7.50 a shelf. <laughs> They're just so ugly. I was like, this is not $7.50. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the legs, it's the legs. So it's really, it's really worth it. Really. But the table turned out cool. The legs look real good. The stain looks nice. Finish. Custom. Hey. There's that ugly shelf. It's really, really bad. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with the shelves yet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.